right, folks, I just realized that I went and made a whole video and did a whole bunch of work, <laughs> and I didn't hit the start button right, and I only got seven seconds of video. So I'm just going to talk you through what I did, and I think that'll be fine. Um, taking it back apart and pretending to redo it really isn't going to really teach you anything more than me just showing you what happened. So I put in the bridge. And the first thing I did was I wanted to check. I have a 25.5 inch scale. So I wanted to make sure that when I put in my bridge, that from my nut to my bridge, I was at exactly 25.5 inches from there to there. Okay, and I did that. Then I made sure that where my high E string was gonna go was lined up with the fretboard and I checked that and that was good and then I checked down here where is my low E going to be with my fretboard and that was good I actually prefer to give more room on this side than that side because you do more down here pulling back and forth on a guitar you usually when you're up here pull down on that string not up so it, you can have a little more room on that side I do like that so I checked all that with a ruler. Then I took my drill. And by the way, what you missed was a whole diatribe about how important it is to always own a decent cordless drill. And I'm gonna go through that just quickly because I can't possibly do it like that again. Um, a cordless drill, uh, once you move out on your own, which a lot of you guys will do in the next couple of years, um, leave with a drill. It's just a... Uh, it's something that you'll find use for whether you're a fixer or not. It's going to have its reasons. Make sure you have a drill, a couple of bits, and a screwdriver head for it. Because the number of things that you'll come into in life that just need you to have that tool, it's immeasurable. And you're just going to have them. So, um, I want a drill. That's really what I wanted to say. And with that, I also went through a whole thing about how I actually really miss teaching and how... I really miss having these times when I tell you guys things about life that has nothing to do with what we're learning, but everything to do with what we're learning. Like going on a tangent and talking about why it's important to own a drill. That is definitely something that I would do in my classroom day in and day out. Um, the, these little tangents that I feel like are just great life lessons. So life lessons, drills, and bridges. We're talking about bridges today and bridges will be our password. The bridge is in. So what I did was I checked and an eighth inch drill bit was the right bit to make my pre-holes for my screws. I lined up the first screw hole and I screwed that hole, I drilled that hole down. I put in a screw to hold it in place, made sure that my next, my other side, my E to E, my other E was lined up and was also 25.5 inches and I screwed that one in. Once I had those two in there, I was able to make the holes and put the screws in for all the other parts of the bridge so that everything lined up and I made sure it fit. So now we have the bridge attached, we have the neck attached, we have the pit guard on, we didn't screw it in yet. And um, I gotta show you what I'm gonna put down here, my little adornment that I'll put in there. And uh, I have my thing up here that I didn't tell you how to do yet. I actually made another one really quickly. I'll show you these. I made. I did these rose inlays the same way, and while I'm at it, I might as well tell you how to do the inlays. So with these inlays, what I do is I carve away with a tool, with a CNC machine, any design that I want. And then I take stone dust like this, which is just powdered stone. This is red jasper, which will give me a red stone. I'm gonna waste it, but you can see it in my hand right there. It's just kind of flaked up stones. I don't think any of that made it back in the bag, but that's fine. And then I took crazy glue, and after pouring the stone dust into the holes, I filled it with crazy glue on top. I rubbed it around to get it all in there, wearing gloves, of course. Nothing worse than crazy gluing your fingers together. Don't ask me how I know. Um, 
and then it was kind of mounded up and dirty and I took a sander and blasted it all off with a sander and you're left with this cool inlay. That's actually brass that I had to put in there. I put brass powder and glue and was able to make these roses on the backs of these. And this geometric design was made with uh, some kind of white stone. I don't remember what it was, to be honest with you. Anyway, just something that I wanted to show you about how I did that label up there. So bridges, the bridge is in. The scale is 25.5. And hopefully I actually videotaped this this time. Yup, I did. Bridges is your password. And I was pointing at things that weren't quite in the view. Let me show you that. What I was talking about was this headstock design that I put on there using that technique I just talked about, about using stone dust and crazy glue. Crazy glue is amazing stuff. Really enjoy it. All right. 